How y'all doing? I hope everyone has been doing well, and I'd like to announce that we will continue posting videos on a weekly basis. As always, feel free to comment on any video ideas you have for us. We're planning to finish part two of the top high school basketball recruits from each state for the class of 2021, and we're looking to hopefully release that video by the end of next week, so make sure you're subscribed and have your post notifications on. Today, we're going to dive into the incredible story of Jackson Hook, the retro freshman running back at Arizona State. On Friday night in Tucson, Arizona, with 7 minutes and 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter, the Arizona State Sun Devils led 63-7. On first and goal, quarterback Trenton Bourget took the snap and handed it off to 5'9", 220-pound running back Jackson Hook. Jackson sidestepped to the left and forced his way into the end zone to leave his mark on an eventual 70-7 victory over the in-state rival, the Arizona Wildcats. But hold on, this was no ordinary touchdown. This was a historic touchdown as Hu became the first Chinese-born player to score a touchdown in FBS history. As he pointed to the back of his jersey with his Chinese name for the world to see, fans could only help but wonder, where did Hu come from? How did he end up with the Sun Devils? We will cover that and more in this video to commemorate a historic event. Jackson He, or by his Chinese name, He Peizhong, was born in Shaoguan, China, located in Guangdong province. While living in Shaoguan, he spent up to 14 hours a day focusing on his academics. As is prevalent in Chinese culture, academics were at the forefront of his life. He stated himself they spent a lot of time memorizing instead of understanding the concepts. As a result, his grades struggled a bit. His parents decided to move He to the United States to provide him with a better opportunity to get into a top tier school. So in 2014, at the age of 17, He, along with a group of other Chinese students, headed to San Diego. Before moving to America, he decided to make his American name, Jackson, after the late Michael Jackson, a singer who he adored. He was pretty sad at first, as he left his family and friends back home. While attending Lutheran High School, he faced discrimination and humiliation in school as a result of his poor English skills. Unfortunately, inspired by Yao Ming, Jackson failed to make the school's basketball team. As he was 250 pounds at the time, Ron Allen, the school's football coach, spotted him and told him to join the team and play on the offensive line. Although he was frustrated at first, he started to learn to love the sport as he continued to practice his fundamentals. He developed a mindset of having no fear to help boost his confidence and allow him to continue to progress. Football also provided him with a new source of friends as he had previously been lost and on his own as a result of his cultural differences and his poor English skills. Due to his superior strength and speed, his coach also began to teach him how to play running back. His hard work paid off as he was awarded the team's most improved player. He reclassified in order to allow himself the opportunity to possibly land a scholarship playing college football. His senior season started off slow as he dealt with fumble issues. However, by the middle of the season, he improved his ball control and became a key running back for the team. After garnering interest from the NAIA program, University of Jamestown in North Dakota, he signed his letter of intent. He redshirted his freshman year as he had to learn a whole new playbook while playing the role as a fullback. The following year, in 2017, he rushed for 376 yards with two total touchdowns, making an immediate impact as a running back. After discontent with the new coach and team, he returned to China to play club football for the American Football League of China and also helped develop other Chinese athletes who were interested in playing the sport. One of his club teammates, who had attended Arizona State, told He about the university, and He ended up applying. Before he arrived, he sent out his film to the coaching staff, to which he received no replies. Being persistent, he asked his staffer to review his film as he was intent on joining the team. So, in 2019, He was able to actually walk on to the Sun Devils' football team. Although he only started playing football less than five years ago, he has quickly grasped the gist of the game and has shown his abilities to learn and execute the offensive playbook. According to ASU running backs coach, Sean Aguano, he never makes mistakes and he does everything right. 
When asked about head coach Herm Edwards' decision to put Hood in the game, he responded that Hood is a sideline favorite. So with 7 minutes and 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter, Hood took the handoff and pounded his way into the end zone. He then proceeded to receive tremendous support from his teammates, coaches, and from Chinese people throughout the world. Jackson feels like he is playing for everyone back home in China who is interested in playing football and maybe one day wants to play college football. As he put it, knowing that I'm the only one at this level, this opportunity is rare. He has also been eager to teach his teammates about his Chinese culture and uses the word Paul Feng, which translates to running back, to break out huddles. In the end, I feel like it is iconic how although he failed to follow in the footsteps of Yao Ming, he opened a new path for Chinese-born athletes to follow his footsteps and pursue a career in football. In terms of the bullying he faced, I would like to urge everyone to treat everyone else with the utmost respect even if they are different from you. Instead of rejecting differences, try to embrace it and learn from them. I think it is also impressive how He is insistent on, on keeping his culture and traditions and shares his culture instead of completely assimilating into the American culture. He embraces the diversity at Arizona State and has been able to interact with other international students as well. I'm excited to see him continue to make an impact with Arizona State and hopefully garner a bigger role with the team in the near future. I hope I will continue to see him inspire millions of young Chinese athletes throughout the world. As Hu stated, I am the first one, but I won't be the last one. And there you have it, that's the story of Jackson Hu, one of the most inspirational stories this year. And as this year comes to a close, I want to make sure that everyone is staying safe and healthy. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, Turn your post notifications on so you never miss out on our latest videos. Thank you.